it's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. My name is Digitalic, I am a Grandmaster, a Grandmaster ranked online risk player. And we are in now on episode four of our rank up series where we're gonna take my man, Ranky Upper 10, all the way from novice to Grandmaster by playing in other people's lobbies. Uh, various settings, and so today we're actually playing progressive, uh, classic progressive actually I don't really like playing progressive on classic but as I said we're gonna do various settings and I'm in the fifth position playing as red uh, so the settings for today's game are um, pardon me 60 second turn timer expert AI I don't know of any yet progressive cards balance blitz dice no filtering of rank alliances are off fog is off blizzards are off and bot behavior is automated uh, so far, I'm one win and three losses on the Rank Up series, and hopefully we can improve that record today. Currently ranked as a beginner. Okay. So, who are we playing today? In the first position, we have Waverly Eldritch, 29, playing as Purple from the United States of America. In the second position, we have Bud Truth from the Ukraine, playing as Blue. In the third position, we have Helen, I believe that's Norway, right? Um, playing as white. In the fourth position, we have Spencer's Cox. <laughs> okay. Uh, playing as pink from the United States of America, and I'm in the fifth and final position. So I got a lot of material here in North America. A bit of material in Europe and some in Asia. I want to get this away from Australia. Oh. Hopefully that six isn't for attacking, because it can only hit a four. Okay. So pink reinforces their positions around the board and then gets gets a get some value out of a two stack in Australia. Okay, so what am I going to do here? I got two extra troops. I just want to make sure I'm not in anybody's way. Okay, so I'm going to put two here. I'm going to put two here. One there. I'm going to move away from Australia. Lose a troop. Just gonna combine these two stacks together in North America. I want to keep. I want to have multiple positions on the board, and I don't want to get into any wars uh, in the early game, because that is a death sentence in progressive. Once the trades start to become valuable, um, you need to start making kills and stealing your opponent's cards, and you can't do that if you. Are weak. Okay, so I think purple wants Europe. Fine with me. Hopefully I can... Hopefully there's a road out for me. Blue takes Australia fortifies into Indonesia. What does white do? I need to get out of Europe. Yesterday. Okay, so pink might take away my fortification plan here. Hopefully they don't hit that one in... Maybe they do. Do they fortify it back for me? Oh, they do. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to put a troop here. But I want to put two troops here because I'm actually going to make two attacks to get out. 
because I don't want to fortify down into Australia and threaten blue. I'm gonna just... Okay, and I get a Joker, so hopefully I can make a natural set so I don't have to use my Joker when I, when I do my first trade. Now, white has most of their material in North America. Um, I mean, the odds of them taking North America are quite low with all this material in there, but still, you never know, especially in, cla in, especially in the classic map, you never know when you're playing with someone that just makes a bad move and they'll punch your 10 stack in that position anyway. But it doesn't mean I'm going to vacate North America. White is looking rather fishy at 19 troops. Okay, so blue just takes away my road to Alaska. That's okay. White gets to take in Asia. They don't fortify, they don't reinforce their nine stack in North America, which is good. I think I, should, I think I may as well combine these two armies and I'll end up having two main positions, which I'm fine with. One large army in, uh, that's Western Canada, Alberta. <coughs> Not really what Alberta actually looks like, neither, same with Ontario. Quebec looks a little bit more accurate, except Quebec it doesn't include the Maritimes. And I'll also have an army in, in Afghanistan. Okay. I'm going to put a true, two troops there, one troop there. I'm just going to attack down into China and fortify in Afghanistan. Okay, so I've got a two position play going on, which I'm fine with. I gen like, I'd love to have three positions, but classic for progressive is a, you know, it's a very crowded, crowded map. Um, and it's and it's actually hard to s really get separation from yourself in cl in the classic map um, because you know like my two stacks are only really one two three four five like six territories away so you know blue punches purple in Africa did they get a card I didn't I don't think they got a card. Well, they're trying to keep their... I don't think they got a card. No, they didn't. So blue skipped a card. <laughs> Maybe they did that on purpose. I don't know. Okay, white punches into South America and consolidates in Venezuela. What does pink do? Pink's got one of my favorite territories for Classic Progressive, that's Japan. I also like it in Classic Fixed when you're doing the, the no continent play and do the have not in Classic Fixed. Sometimes I like to just tuck myself away from everything in Japan. Okay, so white, Pink gets a take in North America and fortifies into Ontario. So let's just do some reinforcements. I'm gonna try and get the best take I can without blocking my armies. I guess I could have tried to spend that too. But it is what it is. I'm actually doing okay. I've got the most troops. 
uh, on the board, which I'm okay with. Don't have a natural set yet, but all I need to do is fade an infantry, and I won't have to use my Joker when I when I end up trading. Okay, so I lost my two in Europe. No big deal. Purple doing a lot of punching. I think they're trying to get over twelve territories. So in an effort not to block my armies anymore, at least my 13 stack here in Asia, in Afghanistan, I'm probably going to look to take get my take here and then fortify in. I'm blocked from Australia, unfortunately. Um, but I can still attack through Asia and I can attack into the Middle East, into Africa, and then into Africa. Okay, round four is just about to finish. Pink punches in Australia, sorry, in Africa, and then fortifies in Brazil. Okay, so my last turn before the trades come in. Yeah, I think I'm doing it here. Didn't lose a troop, which is nice. And fortify back into Afghanistan. Okay. So now the trades start rolling in. Uh, I'm in the fifth position, so I'm going to get the... 4, 6, 8, 10, the 12, which is great. Okay, so purple finally takes Europe. And they guard it. Red's looking very fishy at 23 troops, but they're about to, they're going to get a decent trade, and I don't think I have any targets yet. Cards are still not incredibly valuable, but they will be in the next round. So I want to start thinking about who I might decide to kill if they don't trade in on three cards on their next turn. And I think I definitely want to be lined up to kill white. Which I sort of am. Yeah, I am. Pink as well. I'd like to kill pink. Their nine stack in Japan makes that tough. Purple? Yep. They're going to get a lot of troops in their next turn though. me from killing white unless I come through yeah no they don't I could still do it I'm not planning on doing it now uh, def okay yeah I'll take plus two in China I'm gonna go for white. I don't need that. Let's 
go. Let's put four there. Let's put the rest there. The rest there. Okay, so all right, purple sets in again right away. Looks like they're guarding Europe. Okay. Get a take in North America. And they pass their turn. That eight stack could potentially block me from killing white. It also makes me a target of blue, potentially. Blue's a card behind, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The ultimate question is, oh, what did I miss? It was pink punching. White, okay. Very cool. They're gonna set in. Pink's going to be sitting on five cards. Pink is going to be sitting on five cards. They're taking a long time to draft, but they have a 20 stack. Are they going to use this to make another kill? I think I might have to use my set. I don't think I want to sit on four cards. tough. Yeah, I think I have to set in here. I think I'll be a target if I don't. Whoops. I think I killed pink. Let's try it out. What do I want my stack? I think I want it here.
Don't have a set. Now here's my issue. I said if blue sets in, they're gonna kill me. Yeah, and there's nothing I can really do to stop that. And I can't kill blue. I might come third here. Because blue can put all their troops there. But we'll see. If I don't have a set on four, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's unfortunate. Might not be posting another win video. <laughs> I actually might die on this turn because blue can set in, kill me, set in again. Blue does set. 86. That's more than what I have. They can kill me easily. But they're not going to. Oh! This is good. They're killing purple. But purple won't set them in. They're just about to weaken themselves. But, I don't have a set. If I had a set, this game would be over. Unfortunate. stack. That sucks. If I had a set, this game would be over. It's crazy. So I'm probably going to lose anyway. So that's good. 12 has to go take these two. It's not a good situation. Okay, even break Australia. I lose. No, I don't even want to put that there. Put it in Japan. Good game. Whoa, email verified. <laughs> Whoops, wrong page. Good game. Well played. I think blue going after they are taking their time here yeah they got enough time they're just fast enough oh well, maybe not they gotta get going I might actually be okay here. It's too bad my nine stack stuck in Japan. Um, I did that because I just, they're gonna hit it no matter what. 
Okay, so blue is actually slow. Forty-five troops. Is that enough to win? It's not. It's not. Is that true? Yeah, I think I hit the stack. Bad roll. Twelve. Leave that nine locked. I need blue not to have a set. Ooh, okay, so I have a set. So if they don't kill me, they die. This is game. This is game. All right, got lucky on the wild card there. So I'm just going to put six troops here, just to guarantee it. That's a waste. So I have to kill them here. I get six. Yeah, this game's over. I'm just going to over over overdo that. No, just don't make a mistake <laughs> on your pathing. Ooh, I almost fucked that up. I'll just split them in half. What's the difference? And wish them a well played in a good game. And there you have it. Okay, so I'm two wins, three losses in the rank up series. Um, I think I think I actually should have come third in that game. I think Blue's mistake was killing Purple instead of killing me. Uh, I had similar similar number of troops, plus I had four cards, much many more cards. So it is, I'll take it, it's a good win. Okay, so uh, guessing ranks. Purple, I'm gonna give intermediate. They play, they, they don't know the difference between progressive and fixed. Um, red, I'm gonna give a master. Uh, blue, I'm going to go intermediate as well. Uh, I don't remember the other one, so I'm just going to go with those three guesses. Okay, so purple, I was right. Blue was actually a beginner. There was no red. Oh, I was red. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> the, the person I meant uh, who was a master was the one that I killed for five cards which I think was pink, uh, and they're an expert, so I was wrong anyway. Okay, so I should get some good rank points for that. There is a master in there, and I came first, so let's go check the ranking now. Oh, cool, I get a token. So, Ranky McUpperton. Woo, 4,000 FFA points, but still a beginner. Okay, and so it should be, I should be at, oh, two and three, yeah, okay, cool. So that was episode four. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you like the video, please smash that like button. And uh, please consider also subscribing to my channel so you can get more of my videos. And perhaps you and I can improve our games together. Until next time, you keep fighting that good fight.